Um, so to give some people a little bit of hope after that, <laughs> um, Alicia and Molly and a bunch of other people um, were wondering if writing Midnight Sun has sparked your interest to write any more in the saga, specifically, you know, Jacob and Renesmee, Leah, my personal uh, favorite, um, any other characters? So the stories are there. Um, there are two more books, I think, in the in the world that I want to write. Um, I've got them outlined in like a chapter written, I think, of the first one. And so I know what's I know what's there. Um, I'm not ready to do that right now. I want to do something brand new. Um, for me, a lot of the joy of writing comes from creating, and I really want to do like a new world and new rules and new mythology. That's Mythology is kind of my thing. So I get excited to create something new instead of just following the old rules I already have. Um, I do want to get to that. Uh, and I plan to eventually. Um, sorry that I can't be more like, I mean, I wish I could be more like a machine. Like, this is what I want to do next. Plug it in, do it. But that's just not well, how my brain works. that's the creative works. process. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you have to have a palate cleanser and get into yeah. other ideas. But I do know what happens. And if I don't ever get around to writing it, I will to a bullet points version on my deathbed and she'll probably be the one recording it. And I'll just like, really, that is too much pressure. and I'll, I'll tell everything that happens. Um, and, uh, without the, the writing, <laughs> um, how are they spending quarantine? How are they? Yeah. How would they spend quarantine to like in November of 2009? What did <laughs> what were Esme and, and Carlisle do for a date on a Friday night? And it's like, okay. Um, I do know where they're going to be. I don't think of it as like, where they are now, because for me, they're kind of frozen at the place where I stopped writing. So I know what's coming next, but that none of that's all feels like future, even though I think technically it will be set in the past because the sequel to Bre Breaking Dawn starts about four years after Breaking Dawn. Um, so that's so that's in the past, but for me, it's the future. It's a weird mental space. But as for all the other things, like if something, if I haven't written something down, it hasn't happened yet. So, um, I don't like just have off the top of my head, you know, what happened at this point? What happened at this point? And it's all, I don't, I don't want to have it defined because these are things I pull from when I'll write later. And they'll be like, you know, in Midnight Sun, there's quite a few flashbacks. And these are all things that didn't exist until I needed them to, you know? And so I keep all that stuff un, unwritten and undefined so that I can have it when I need it. Um, and And so it's not like I'm kind of, Picking and choosing from the story, I all that I everything that story is already written. Does that make sense? Makes sense to me. Okay. Um, I know because I sometimes ask and I am shut down. Uh, uh, specifically, would like to know: Have you considered doing a book about Freaky Fred's life after he disappeared? Chandra um, similarly was wondering if more Volturi are coming back. So I'm not going to answer those very specifically because spoilers. However, I do plan to see Fred again. Um, he got to stay alive for a reason. Um, he wouldn't be in the next novel. He would be in the one after that. Um, but yeah, I, I, I know his, where he goes from that point on. Um, and then the Volturi obviously have to be dealt with. You yeah. know, they are the big, the big bad. They clearly are not going to leave the Colons alone. <laughs> um, so that is, uh, that, that they have to be dealt with. And, and they're not going to do this like, hey, let's, you meet us here and we'll fight it out. You know, they're going to come at them from the side. So that is coming.